As the hues of twilights merge with the darkness, I ask you to remember one thing. It is a journey, not of just skill, but of the soul. You see, the true battle is not outside, but it is within, against one's own weaknesses and doubts. And there is nothing that is outside of you that you will fight greater than what is within you, those weaknesses, those doubts, and those fears. My eyes are always open. Things change, and we must change with them. You will know glory when you reach it. Trust me, this is the path to get there. My people do not fear death. They know if they fight till their last breath, they will have earned a seat at Odin's table. This is the substance of the way of the samurai. If by setting one's heart right every morning and evening, one is able to live as though his body were already dead. He gains freedom in the way. His whole life will be without blame, and he will succeed in his calling. Perfection of character is this. To live each day as if it were your last, without frenzy, without apathy, without pretense. You must eclipse the pain of your past with the power of your future. The purposeful decisions that you make today will eclipse the pain of your past. Resist the temptation to give in in times when trials are too heavy to win. Seeing past and seizing every opportunity. Obstacles cannot crush me. Every obstacle yields to stern resolve. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. It is good to listen to a man who knows his own mind and has the courage to speak it. Word carries, though mouth stands still. You live as if you were destined to live forever. No thought of your frailty ever enters your head. Of how much time has already gone by, you take no heed. You squander time as if you drew from a full and abundant supply. Though all the while that day which you bestow on some person or thing is perhaps your last. Ill it is to abandon honor and integrity in exchange for injustice and greed. Ill it is to do the wrong and leave the right undone. Nothing can be loved or hated unless it is first understood. Mental bearing, not skill, is the sign of a matured samurai. A samurai, therefore, should neither be pompous nor arrogant. In fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined through calm. Meet the situation without tenseness, yet not recklessly. Your spirit settled, yet unbiased. An elevated spirit is weak, and a low spirit is weak. Do not let the enemy see your spirit. There is something to be learned from a rainstorm. When meeting with a sudden shower, you try not to get wet and run quickly along the road. But doing such things as passing under the eaves of houses, you still get wet. When you are resolved from the beginning, you will not be perplexed, though you will still get the same soaking. 
this understanding extends to everything. Here is a rule to remember in the future. When anything tempts you to feel bitter, think not, this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is a good fortune. I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinions of himself than on the opinions of others. Free yourself from the influence of hatred, friendship, anger, and pity. When these intervene, the mind cannot judge the truth, and no one ever served his emotions and his best interests simultaneously. Be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. What we do now echoes in eternity. In this sign, you will conquer. In the halls of Valhalla, the brave may live forever. I choose to live by choice and not by chance. I choose to make changes and not excuses. I choose motivation over manipulation. I choose to excel and not compete. I choose self-esteem over self-pity. I choose to listen to the voice from within versus the voices from without. The fear of inadequacy, the fear of uncertainty, the fear of failure, the fear of not finishing, the fear of rejection, the fear of missing out, the fear of change, the fear of losing control, the fear of being judged, the fear of not being liked, the fear of something bad or traumatic happening, the fear of getting hurt. Many of these fears have left us in a state of paralysis, unable to move forward, unable to achieve. The time is now. Once you conquer fear with faith and love, there will be no hesitation, there will be no surprises, and there will be no doubt. In the face of adversity, you will be certain that in the end, 